In this video, I want to take you to Masai Mara. So pack your bags, pack your swimsuit, pack your camera if you have one, and let's go to Masai Mara. <music> Steven Ethereum and for the past few years I've been traveling across Kenya and Masai Mara has been one of my favorite places that I have really wanted to travel and for a good reason. Known for being the best travel destination in Kenya because of the wild beast migration that happens between July and October every year. Masai Mara is one of those places you can't miss in your travel bucket list in Africa. On this particular day we met in Nairobi at 6.30 a.m. and left for Masai Mara at 7.30 a.m. We used the Great Ishwari Road uh, along my Ma Hill land where you can see the Great Ishwari. But our first stop over was in Narok Town. So we had a short break and uh, we went straight to Masai Mara. Our next stop over was at the gate, the Sekenani Gate, where we met women, the Masai women, selling different. Uh, artifacts from Masai such as Rungu, I bought one Rungu and uh, other things like bracelets, rings and so many things and uh, before we went inside the gate there's a payment fee for for entrance so it's called park entrance fee it costs 1000 for East African citizens and uh, for non-resident adults it costs $17 and uh, $14 for non-resident children so we went straight to the gate after the payment. And the first anime that we saw was a lion. Was seated far away, uh, alone. I don't know what it was doing, but it just looked like it was working for food. We didn't stay there for long because the lioness was very far. So we went straight into the park. And the next animal that we saw was an elephant. Big elephant, alone, walking alone in a very unpulled and old type of position as you can see. A few kilometers inside the park, we then saw a very muddy buffalo, rested as calm as a male pot, alone, very still. He only looked at it for a few seconds, then proceeded with our drive. Uh, we then saw a courier bastard bird, a very hairy bird, a small but doesn't like flying, only when it's in danger that's when it flies. Took a few pictures, then proceeded further into the park. That's when we saw so many antelopes. They are well distributed inside the park, but there's one that stood out this in particular. Brown with huge horns and uh, very courageous, didn't walk away, just took them looking at us and we were looking at it. So from it, from there we went further, closer to the gate, the exit gate. That's when we saw two tall giraffes. One walked away, I don't know why. The other one just took them, wasn't scared of us. So we took a few pictures then we were even closer to the gate, the exit gate. Close to the exit gate, there were two black hogs, one a child and one an adult. They were eating, I'm not sure what they were eating. We took a few pictures, videos, then we went outside the gate. We were in a hurry because we were being waiting. So 4.5 kilometers away from the camp, we arrived at Maisha Masai Mara camp. The camp is very hospitable. They picked our bags. They were ready to accommodate us. They placed our bags at the reception and they briefed us about the whole camp. They gave us so many so many options of what we could do. We could either swim, we could either walk around the camp. At night we can have a boat, we can have bonfire. So we started with lunch, went straight to lunch. 
buffet. You can choose the way you want from Asian food, American food, African food. You choose what you prefer. Chefs are very professional. They play with fire like it's nothing. Then uh, we eat our lunch. After lunch, we went into our rooms. I'll show you the rooms. If you stick up to the end, if you want to we'll see the rooms, please make sure you stick up to the end of the video. So after lunch, we went into our camps and picked our swimming costumes. That's where it comes in handy. So you pick up your swimming costume, dive into the pool, very cold water. The sun was shining, the weather was perfect for swimming. Then at the pool you can see the whole conservas. Very beautiful. You probably would want to see them with your uh, with your own eyes. So this was just perfect for the the weekend. And after swimming, uh, it was close to night time. And it was time for dinner. We went for dinner. Uh same variety of food as lunch time. Buffet you can choose whatever you want. Plus, they spiced it up with entertainment from the staff. They danced, sun went around the uh, the dining area. Very entertaining. You can see for yourself. <laughs> We really loved it and uh, we clapped for them after they, they finished the entertainment. So after supper, we were taken through all the rooms. We started with the family tent. Family tent has a double double bed with a couple or for the parents and uh, two beds for the children. If you have your children, they provide the that bed. And we were taken to the twin bed, the twin bed tent where they have two beds, two separate beds for friends who have come in two. Then they have the triple bed, because, which has three beds for friends who have come in threes. Then they have the double bed with only one bed for a couple. 
inside each tent. It's very spacious. They have a table. They have um, they have toilets. That's the washroom and the and then the bathroom for for both parents, for friends or couple, and the children. Each room has a separate uh, separate uh, washroom area. They also provide um, body lotion, body shampoo, and uh, any other thing that you need in your rooms. They have a very good dispenser covered with this cloth. I don't know why, but it looks nice. They say this for like, the aesthetics. So after after visiting all the rooms, we went for bonfire all night road, all night run till 3 a.m. Then we went to sleep early in the morning. We went for breakfast, same variety of food. You can choose whatever you want. Then after breakfast, we checked out the camp. I uh, went straight into the Masai Mara Rizama gate. But this time around, we are only experiencing the African massage. We didn't get any chance to take any pictures, any photos. We were in a hurry to make sure that we get back to Nairobi on time. And that's how our visit to Masai Mara was. So stick around to watch our next video in our next trap and guide. Feel that. Cheers.